one who is experienced in training the wild elephant or wild bull does not get irritated does not develop anger or hatred towards this wild animal very patiently one works very patiently but persistently similarly you have to deal with your wild mind very patiently you want to get it trained in one day or two days or no no and you become irritated because it is not getting trained look i have given two days of my life and yet it's not getting trained you become agitated irritated it becomes more wild it becomes more dangerous patience you have to work very patiently patiently but persistently persistently continuously continuously ultimately you will win the mind is bound to get disciplined but you have to work no one else can work for you you have to fight out your own battle you have to work out your own salvation your own liberation none else can do that for you someone who has been successful in controlling the mind someone who has become successful in purifying the mind someone who has become liberated enlightened with all the compassion and love this person will show the path but you have to walk on the path you have to take every step on the path yourself step by step step by step you have to reach the final goal nobody will take you on his shoulder to the final goal nobody can take anyone else on the shoulder and reach the final goal impossible each individual has to work of course when you start taking steps on the path of dhamma the path of liberation the path of enlightenment the law of nature is such the universal law of nature is such that you get tuned up with the good vibrations of saintly people good vibrations of dhamma and you get all the inspiration and the strength you start getting so much support i know it with my own personal experience and also the experience of so many students you will get support you call it grace you call it mercy you call whatever you like you will get support but still every step you have to take on the path you have to take every step on the path young man this is what i keep on telling every day people come to me understanding very well that this is a person who is fully liberated he has reached the final goal he knows the path from here to the final goal they come to me they ask me what is the path why i keep it as a top secret i explain them very clearly this is how you walk this is how you walk and you will get this station and this station and you keep walking keep walking and you reach the final goal someone just listens and says sadu 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 <laughs> and bows down three times but won't take a single step on the path how will this person reach the goal what can i do i have shown the path my job is done somebody has started taking steps on the path someone has taken just one step on the path this person is one step nearer the goal someone has taken 100 steps on the path this person is 100 steps nearer the goal someone has taken all the steps on the path has reached the goal each individual has to take steps on the path no one else can do that no one else if i am thirsty 
and someone else drinks water, my thirst will not get quenched. For quenching my thirst, I must drink water. If I am sick and someone else takes medicine, my sickness will not get cured. I have to take medicine myself. So simple and yet we don't want to work. And we just expect some other supernatural power to be very kind, to do something for us. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Each individual has to work out one's own salvation. Each individual has to take every step on the path. Akha taro. He will just point out, this is the path. Akha taro tathagata. Everyone who has reached that goal will only point out the path. But each individual has to walk on the path. Each individual has to work out one's own salvation. If this is accepted, and earlier one accepts it, the better. 